G'day everyone. So you just saw me do my isometric drawing of my Lego guy in Fast Forward. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the steps. First thing we need to do is we need to start off with the box that our Lego guy fits in. So I was counting up before, I think I did um, 16 high. It's going to start at the 2 and go to 18 because that's 16. And what I found when I was um, drawing the first one is I couldn't see my construction lines. So I would never really do my construction lines this dark. But because I'm doing the video for you guys, I'm doing my construction lines a lot darker so you can see them. And then I went six back the other way, 60, sorry, back the other way. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 mils. And then I went 20 mils the other way as well. So you can see I'm not lining it up at the two for the centimeters. Um, I can line it up at anywhere I want as long as I'm counting back. So that's five, 10, 15, 20. Now really that's all I need to draw up my box is I've got those measurements. So I should be able to put in my vertical. So you can see I had my chook's foot. Now if you forgot to remind you of putting in the chook's foot. Putting my verticals. Now all of these lines are parallel. That means that they don't meet. And you know what else kept happen happening? The arm of my Lego guy kept falling off. So I've had enough of Lego guy. And, and I'm going to close that up. Simply by using my T-square and my set square together. If you're at home and you don't have a T-square and a set square, just draw it freehand. Start with the box first so I can see what you're doing. And we'll go from there. Okay, that's all closed off. So I started, I think, with my head. So I measured, I divided that into three sections. So every 20 mil, I put a little line and then I'm gonna take that back. And I don't have to measure it because uh, I can see where I have to go with my box that I've already drawn. And then I came down 30 mils for the head. 10, put a little doohickey, 20 and 30. I won't need to measure this other side because I've already measured that once already. So that automatically will join up. Then I'm gonna put in my little Lego lines because I know they go across there. <coughs> now this was actually divided here. So I'm gonna measure a 10, draw in a vertical, and I'm going to flip it over and use my 3060 together using the 30 degree side. Make sure they're together. And then I can start to um, create my little shape. Now, again, I don't have to measure that line at the back because when I put in my lines, that's all there for me to see. Now, I forgot to turn the light on because I can. And that might be easier to see again. Okay, so I'm going to start with this little piece in here for his neck. And that's about halfway and 10 mils on either side. So if I know this is 20, I know that's 10. And 5 on either side would give me 10. And it's going to be 10 mils down. So again, I only need to do one measurement because I've already done those. I can use the constructions lines. Ooh, there you go. And then it starts to come out. I'm gonna go back 20 mils. Really gonna try and make sure I'm using the word millimeters so that we're all using the correct terminology. Now, you don't have, I kind of don't want you to uh, follow my Lego man, but if you want to, you're very welcome to. I won't put so much um, detail into his hands and his feet. I'll just make them straight, so that'll be a bit easier. But if you want to make your own Lego, you can do that. 
because I actually made my Lego man and I thought I would enjoy the process more of making him from the Legos, but I did not. I went through my son's Lego collection and I found all these cool little Lego pieces and there's so many different pieces. When I was a kid and there were Legos, we had block Legos. So I, that's what I wanted to play with, but that took me ages to find that. So my Lego guy is nice and simple. Now, if you don't have Legos, that's fine. You can just make your own shape up. Um, you can just think about how you would have your Lego guy, Lego person, and then you can make some shapes. You don't even need to do, oh, do you? Yeah, let's do a Lego person though. That way we can all sort of have the same sort of thing. How long does his arm go down for? 10, 20, 30, 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. 40. There we go, Lego guy. Starting to come together. Except, where's the measurement? 10, 20. It's probably going to be about there. Oops. You can see his arm start to come out. Now, no, this line goes straight across for my Lego guy chest. But now I have to cut some arms out. So the arms on either side are going to be 10. Um, 10. That's not quite, that's not quite 10 there, but we'll just count that in. Eight, nine, 10 there. And we're going to come down a little ways for his arms. Now I'm just doing them really lightly. I know you might not be able to see them, but what that will do is help me work out the bottom of his hands. And like I said, I'm not going to put in that um, extra little bit. You can do that if you wish. Alrighty, here we go, Lego guy. Measure a few mils down. And the same on the other side. And then I'm going to bring that down one, two, three, four, five, six. So 60 mils. I've already got some drawn there, so I can just take those marks because that's my guide. Now this doesn't work unless you've got a nice sharp pencil and you need to be really neat and accurate with your lines. This one there, I'm gonna measure the rest of those down, set it up so it starts and I can just count that down. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, lucky. And I'm going to put in his legs. And they're about ten on either side. And his little legs are going to come straight down. Okay, he's starting to come together. I'm actually going to put in the back of his legs. So you can see. Oh, I feel like I want to do the rest of him. No, I won't. I'll just...
and we'll do the front. slack. I've got to neaten up those lines. Mm, what's missing? Okay, have a look. So what you can do is you can follow along with Lego Man and we can have a whole little Lego city. And then I think what I'll do is I'll just go over those lines to make them stand out a little bit more for you. Okay, how am I going to do this? I think I'll just start. Now, I am going to turn my um, set square over because the ruler has a secret. So when you draw and the flat side is down and sometimes you pull the um, ruler away, it smudges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that over so that the angled side is face down. And then that stops the paper and the pen joining together. And then in turn, turn gets rid of all that smudging. Just one there. Okay, Lego guys, starting to come to life. Now, if you don't have these pieces of drawing equipment, remember what I said you can have a go at just sketching it. Start with your box first and then from that you can cut out shapes if you have shapes to cut out. So I've done all my diagonals going one way. I'm going to do my verticals. And that's my little dog asking to go out. Okay, now we're going to do our other 30 degree lines. Mr. Lego Guy, can you see it coming together now? Look how many friends you've got, Lego Guy.
And then I've been including other little people in the drawings. I don't know if you've noticed, just because I thought it was cool. Excuse me, Lego guy. Now, once you're done, just step back and have a little look. Check over your piece. Oh, oh, I can see a line that I missed. See over here on his chest? See here how he's got an extra block? Because I couldn't find one long enough. That's why his arm falls off. And there we have Lego Guy.